I still find the dark robot stages harder. I still can't wait until we get to Mega Man 5, though. <laughs> that, that one's going to be super special. But from, from the way you described it, you made it sound like it was an alright one to play. Oh, it is, when you can see the screen. <laughs> oh, yes, of course! But you couldn't. You had an interesting... Uh, we'll uh, get to that later, no spoilers. ...screen issue. I'm not spoiling it. You've already mentioned it before, I'm pretty sure. Now we have everyone's favorite boss. The Rock Monster! Is Oh, I was about to say, is it Yellow Devil again? But, no. It is Yellow Devil again. You didn't know another relic from Mega Man 1. It's that they called the Yellow Devil the Rock Monster. I don't approve of this. At least you have E-Tanks in this game. And you I can't really use like the pause stuff. trick this time either. Nope. My what?! Most, my most favorite uh, devil fight in the Mega Man games, though, is Mega Man 5 for Game Boy. Uh, fighting Dark Moon. The only one I can remember outside of that one I just saw in the original is um, that Yellow Devil fight in uh, Mega Man X5, and I That's most certainly, Devil. I s most certainly wouldn't call it a good fight. No, I hate that boss fight with a passion, mm. which means I have to naturally record it for the channel. Well, if someone's going to record Mega Man games, I'd much rather it was you. Even if it's a game I like, like X5. I only like X5 because of nostalgia. I've come to this realization now. Oh. Why do you say that? Uh, because it's not actually good. Well, I, I can see where you're coming from. I mean, I like X7 only from nostalgia. Yeah. But even back in the day when I played it, uh, I could see the glaring flaws in it. Like Mega Man not being a character you can use until the end of the game. Or until you... Yeah, but, but Ax Axel's cool, so it's okay. Yeah, Axel I really do like. Uh, but uh, you're not allowed to use Mega Man unless you either save half of the people in the game because it uses that really stupid saving... Uh, rescue system thing from X6 because apparently mm. they thought anything from that game was a good idea. <laughs> but uh, you either have to rescue half the people in the game or you have to get to the Sigma stages. When you get to the Sigma stages, then you'll automatically get Mega Man unlocked. But yeah, the title character isn't usable for most of the game. And he's usually just sitting there whining at Axel, going and be like, uh, why are we going to fight? Whoa, three Mega Men. Yep. Why are you having so much trouble? Because I'm trying to spin jump him. Should you be? No, you should be using Search Snake. But uh, Top Spin can kill him quicker if you find him. Alright, okay. I was just really biffing it. Let's 
It's a hard knuckle. Yep. Top spin. The tougher it, than the rest of them. Just sounds like 90s talk. It's a hard knuckle. Top spin. Special. Why? <laughs> Wet and wild tropical vacation. That sounds gross. It's uh, it is gross. It's uh, me and my Katamari for PSP. <laughs> the king has deserved a wet and wild tropical vacation. It's, it's still probably my favorite game in the series, apart from Beautiful Katamari, which is also a masterpiece. Here we have the uh, Master Refights. Yay, of course. Noodle Man. Weak to laser beams. Mind Bullets. Next we have... The Magnet Man. Pistachio Boy. I'm loving the uh, the Amen break in this remixed music. It's gorgeous. It's all breakbeat. I don't know music musical terms, so that kind of drum pattern is referred to as breakbeat. I'm sure you've experienced those kinds of drums in plenty of dance tracks and. And lots of video game music. That drum pattern is particularly well known because it's sampled from a song called Amen Brother by the Winstons. It's one of the earliest drum samples and it's been used by a lot of people. Fair Uses enough. of the drum sample in video games include uh, Knuckles boss fight in Sonic Advance 2. And Mega Man um, lost his arm. That's alright, he'll just grow it back. Like Piccolo. Yep. I'm trying to think of other examples of arm end breaking video games off the top of my head. There's a few in the Sonic games. Um, Wave Ocean The Inlet um, from uh, Sonic 06 springs to mind as one example. I want to say that there's at least one track in Sonic Unleashed and one track in Generations that uses the Armen break. It's used in a lot of Fatboy Slim stuff. Um, there's a few Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future tracks that use it. It's pretty well known in... Uh, in music production, and it's one of the core components of a genre such as breakbeat and jungle. So where are we right now? Is this the final boss? Uh, first phase of the final boss. It's the All Wily right. Machine. Yeah, typical. I don't like this. This reminds me of the Walker in the Parodius and Gradius games. Oh, the giant woman? Yeah, or the uh, or the original Walker from, from Gradius, which that's a parody of. Well, that wasn't too bad. And a phase two, you say? Yeah, wow. Oh, wasn't it, like... 
Mega Man 9, where Mega Man is like, oh, the poor robot, when they have to ditch the Dr. Light robot inside of uh, the cage. No, none of that made any sense to me. Um, My Mega yeah. Man knowledge is about all that I've seen of this game. Uh, a few stages of, of 9 and 10. Um, Mega Man 2. I, I know a little bit of Mega Man 7. I've forgotten most of what we covered in Mega Man 1. There was salmon paste, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, the salmon paste... But that's about it. I can't remember any of the other discussions. I think I ribbed you for um, for dying a lot on Guts, man. But I mean, that's it. Oh, and the Yoku blocks in Iceman. That was funny. Here we have Gamma. This is Gamma. Yep. I'm so glad they told me what it was, because it looks like an incomplete Guts Man. Quick, summon Impact! G uh, guts... Guts Pact. Yep. Guts Man impact -o. Da dash dash. Da da! Whoa! That was an insta-kill. Uh, sort of. I'm sorry, I promise I will mend my evil ways. Where is Dr. Willy? Oh no, too late. The epilogue. Mmm, I sure do love my epilogues. Epiloge. <laughs> Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. That whistle, it must have been Proto Man. You mean Break Man. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So the game ends with just Metal Falls on Wily. Yep. And now you've shown That's me robots that weren't in this metal. game. Yeah. If you notice, it's counting from number eight. Down to mighty number nine. Or number zero. That's a man. Ember filling a real bit. These this text looks better than NES. This has been put on by by the anniversary collection, hasn't it? What this uh, notebook? The, te stuff? the text looks clearer than NES. Uh, the text might be added because of the PlayStation version, but that oh, text right, okay. is there in the original. Like you know what I mean, though, like the font. Yep. And that is one huge tree. It must be like Eidrasil or something. <laughs> the world tree's roots. The absolute worst part of Dragon Quest Heroes was having to babysit those roots. Dragon Quest Heroes is just nothing more than a power defense game with the Muso skin. Yeah. They could have taken that tower defense stuff out and I would have had a better time. I think they did take it out of the second game. Oh, maybe I should play the second game. I hear it has a lot of free downloadable content that, uh, that includes the protagonists from the first game. I, I've heard that it's a little more open, sort of like Proto uh, Dynasty Warriors 9. So, sounds interesting. Ooh, character designer Don Chan. Like Un the drum from Taiko no Tatsujin, he's Don Chan. Da Don. Da Don! Hit me in my fucking face, Da Don! And then there's also that cursed image. Which cursed image? You know the one involving the certain drum in Kirby. I do not. You'll have to show me later. Alright. 
Presented by Capcom. Crapcom. Nof. Alright. So this has been Mega Man 3 with Team Crest Commentaries. We'll see you next time for some other thing. Same Crest time, same com channel.